Hello, greetings everyone. So, let's get started with some Power BI visual, uh, visualizations. So, uh, the first thing is uh, you open your Power BI tool and uh, you get a sample data. What I've done is I've written that Power BI Excel data source sample and uh, sorry. Oh, keyboard pressed. Sorry. So, you download the financial sample. And here is a file, uh, financial sample Excel workbook. That's what we are going to use. And we will filter it out uh, going forward and we will uh, modify it. But now that should be fine. So we'll create our first uh, visualization. You come here to your Power BI. And what you do is uh, you get data. And uh, let me show you first few of the things you can uh, already seen that you can get data from Excel workbook, Power BI data sets, data flows, Dataverse, SQL and other sources. Okay. So we're not going to use that right now. We are directly uh, using our financial sample data that we have downloaded. So it's asking us uh, what do we need from this folder. So we, uh, we, there's an option to transform data as well. We will not use it at the moment. We just want to do a simple load. We'll use the transform option later on when it's required. So uh, just loading the data. Ignore the option. I don't want to make any changes. Just let it load. So all your data is now being worked upon and uh, from that data now we can see that we have three fields uh, filters visualizations and fields all we want to do is right now just work on the visualizations and see how we can create a simple graph and visualization using this charts predefined charts over here all right so let's select one it's it's a blank one i can adjust the size of it as much as I want it, like if I want to drag it entirely to the screen, that can also be done. All right. So here we have now this is blank. Now, where do we fill in the data from? So if you go in financials, you see that all the tables and the data it has calculated the fields and added here accordingly. So what we want to do is maybe get the month number uh let's select the month name and then we want to see how many units were sold right now having some issues with my keyboard sorry about that unit sold on the y-axis all right now you see we have the data for october december november September and it it has uh, set it in a precedence like the most number and then the least. So how do we uh, check now that which is the most uh, is it accurate or no? For that you go back to your Excel sheet. Uh, let's say let's pick January. It's showing sixty seven eight three five. Okay. Now let's uh, filter my data from here. And uh, let's select only the month of January. All right. Now we have filtered the data and uh, what, what unit we have selected? It's uh, unit sold. So you can see the sum is 673850. All right. Not sure if it's visible. And the same is on your BI. So it's calculating it correctly. Six seven three five eight eight uh, six seven eight three five zero, which is right. Now let's suppose for the same data I want to select a different chart. I'll select that, or maybe I can use one more visualization here. All right, and again do the same thing: the month number and unit sold. Alright, so we can have multiple charts like this, multiple uh, presentation in one Power BI uh, window. 
so this is it uh, this is a quick uh, visualization and uh, how we use the fields in power bi we'll cover everything in next chapter rest of it in next chapter thank you for joining